Well, you guys, do you want to make installing Windows 11 super easy on any PC? Then I'm going to show you how in this video. We're going to be using Ventoy. Ventoy makes installing Windows 11 super easy on unsupported hardware or supported hardware. But before we continue, let's have a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then go to CD Key Sales, type in uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11. And it will give you the option to click on uh, which one you want. Click on this one, and then you can uh, see we'll bit the Buy Now page. Hit the Buy Now button. And as long as your region is listed up above, you should be okay. Put in my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click Apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then use PayPal to pay for your key. Then head over to Windows Activation Center and paste in your key and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Links will be found in the video description. So first off, what you're gonna to need to do is download the official Windows 11 ISO. Now, once you get to their website, you'll see a download link for the download ISO. Click on Windows 11 Multi-Edition. Then we can go through and choose our language that we wanna use and then we can confirm this. And once we confirm this, we can then get the download link for the Windows 11 64-bit ISO. This does take a bit of time because it's about five gigs. So download this, depending on the speed of your internet will determine how long it takes to download. Now, the good thing about Ventoy is it's not just only used for Windows 11 on unsupported hardware or supported hardware. You can use it for any version of Windows, Linux distros, Iron's Boot, CD, or any of those WinPE discs, anything that you have, you can just drop it onto your USB flash drive and boot to it using Ventoy. You can keep Ventoy updated as well, which means you don't have to keep uh, rebuilding your USB flash drive. It's probably one of the best uh, tools out there on the market for uh, USB flash drives for creating uh, multi-boot USB flash drives with all your favorite ISOs. So go to the latest uh, version on Ventoy's website here on GitHub and then download the Windows version. We're on Windows here, but they do have it for Linux as well if you're on Linux. We'd let this download. It's a very quick download. And what we need to do is then extract Ventoy from its uh, zip file. So we're going to open this up and there we go. It's still in its zip container here. So what we need to do is drag this out onto the desktop. I'm just going to drag this folder and drag it to our desktop. Let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. That's now done. Now we've got that done. I've already got my USB flash drive plugged into the computer here. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you here. I'm only using a small USB flash drive here. It's always best to use the biggest flash drive you can afford because it means you can drop loads of ISOs on there of your favorite uh, distros or Windows or WinPEs or whatever it is you want to boot to. So try and use a big flash drive and uh, they're pretty cheap and affordable nowadays. So I've got my USB flash drive plugged in and I'm going to go ahead and click on Ventoy to disk. Click on this and you should see a little box popping up here. And this is what we're working with here. You can see it's detected my USB flash drive. Make sure that it is detecting the right USB flash drive. You've got some options up here as well. Secure boot support and uh, partition style GPT or MBR, depending on what you want to uh, do here. So I'm going to click install and it's going to say, are you sure you want to install it? It's going to erase all the data on that drive. I'm going to say, yes, I do want to continue and it will go ahead and install Ventoy onto that USB flash drive. It's very quick and easy. There we go. It's all done. It says, congratulations. Ventoy has successfully installed on there. So now we've got Ventoy on, on our USB flash drive. I'm going to just quickly check to make sure there's no updates here. So click on the update and say yes here. This will allow you to download the very latest version of Ventoy. We have got the latest version installed, but I just wanted to show you that you can actually use Ventoy and update it. We're using an MBR system here, but if you want to set it for GPT, you can do depending on what your settings are and what you want to set it up for. So that's all now done. And all we need to do now is head over to this PC. We can see Ventoy has been installed successfully. And we can click on this and you can see there's nothing in here. We can now create uh, our ISOs in here. Now you can put them in subdirectories if you want to by creating folders. 
And if we look at the Ventoy uh, Global Control uh, plugin here, you'll see there's an area that says Ventoy and Ventoy.json. This is the area where we need to put in our little file here, which is going to tell it to ignore all of the requirements for unsupported hardware. And you can see it listed down here on the screen. So once we get this in a JSON file, uh, it's going to basically tell uh, Windows 11 to ignore those and just install it. And that's exactly what we want. So what I'm going to do here is going to copy this. And when during the installation process, it will add these registry keys in. And these are your bypass RAM check, bypass TPM uh, check, and bypass secure boot check, bypass CPU check, and bypass storage check. It'll add these in there. And this is what it's going to do. This is basically uh, all that's stopping you installing Windows 11 on any PC. It's uh, Microsoft requirements. And again, if you do install this on a unsupported hardware, remember that any time Microsoft can see support for security updates on that system. And uh, basically, that's what they've been threatening people with for some time. So bear that in mind, if this is your main PC, it might not be advisable to install Windows 11 on that system because it could see support for uh, security updates in the future. But if you do want to continue, then all you need to do here is create a folder inside Ventoy's USB flash drive and call that Ventoy. Inside the Ventoy folder, we need to put our JSON file here. So I'm going to right click, go new, and we're going to go text document. And we can now open this up and put in our text, which we got from that website. So let me go ahead and paste this in here. Now you'll notice at the end of these, it has zeros and ones or numbers. You can change these to whatever your requirements are. So Ventoy Windows 11 bypass check, I'm going to set this to one here. And this means that it's going to use that bypass check because we've enabled that feature. And that's it. And you can either set it to one or zero, depending whether you want to use it on a normal system or an unsupported system. You could just go in and edit that in the JSON file, or you can just leave it on all the time. So what we're going to do here next is we're going to call this Ventoy.json, and that's exactly what it wants to be called. So let's go ahead and call this Ventoy.json. And once that's done, we want to save this as all files and not a text document. Make sure there's no .text on the end here, otherwise it won't work. We can now save this. And that's now done. If we go back into our Ventoy folder, you'll see our Ventoy.json here. So we don't need the text document here. I'm just going to remove that. And there we go. We now have our Ventoy.json folder with all of our commands in here. So let me just quickly show you here, open this up in Notepad so you can see. And you'll see the uh, text in there. So get your settings how you like them. And you can add more stuff to this if you want to. We can put theme folders in here and uh, create our own themes. I've made videos on that in the past. But basically, all we need to do here now is make another folder. I'm not going to call this ISO. And this is where I'm going to dump all my ISO files. And you can make their own folders if you want to and keep it a bit more organized, depending on how you want to set yours up. So I'm going to just drag over the Windows 11 ISO file into the ISO folder that I just created here. It does take a bit of time, so be patient. And once this is copied across to our USB flash drive, we're ready to boot to that device. So there we go. We've got that across now. And uh, once we've got this, I'm going to take this USB flash drive and plug it into a computer that has unsupported hardware in it so we can see whether it actually works. So don't forget, you can always go in here and make changes to this document at any time you like. You can add new stuff on here if you need to. And you can see here the menu timeout is 10, which is 10 seconds. And we've also got some other bits in here, which you can add new stuff. You can check out their website. They've got loads of stuff on there, which you can uh, tweak and add to documents here. So change this to whatever you want. And once we're done here, we can then boot to this device. So let's go ahead and boot up to a USB flash drive. So first off, let me just quickly show you we have a little Dell system here. So I'll quickly open up the system settings here. So we can take a look and you can see here on this system that we do have an i5 7500T. So we've got eight gigs of RAM on here and it's telling us that we won't be able to install Windows 11 on this system. And this is because it's not supported. It doesn't have 
the right CPU in here and it's not on their supported list. So quickly, let's run the PC checker tool, which is designed by Microsoft to tell us what is wrong with this system and why we can't install uh, Windows 11 on it. And it will tell us exactly what the problem is. So we're going to open up the PC health check tool. I'm going to run this. And as you can see here, now this is the part that I don't understand or a lot of people get really upset with Microsoft about is the fact that this is a system that is so capable of running Windows 11 that it's just not allowed. If we look at it, it does have TPM 2.0 enabled on this system. The only thing that's stopping us from installing Windows 11 is the CPU and it's an i5-7500T. So it's just missed out. Secure boot is uh, on this system. It's just not turned on. So basically, Microsoft are stopping us installing Windows 11 on a 2017 CPU, which is pretty disgusting, really. But anyway, let's not get onto a rent. Let's boot up to this USB flash drive. I'm going to choose to boot to this USB flash drive. And you should see the Ventoy splash screen pop up here. Yes, you can change that background to your own if you want to. I've showed you how to do that in previous videos. But we're going to boot to our ISO, which is our Windows 11 ISO. It's going to then load up just as you would if you was installed in Windows 11. So we'll just let this uh, get to the install screen here. And then we can then check to see whether it allows us to bypass here without doing any other uh, sort of jiggery pokery to get it installed. So here we are at the install screen. So I'm going to click on next here. And I'm not going to go through the whole process. I'll just show you this part here where it will do a check. And this is the area where it should come up saying this PC is not compatible. And if it gives us the terms and conditions, it means that it's allowed us to go through. It's doing a few checks. And there we go. It's let us bypass and go into the install process. And that is it. We've just now bypassed that without any sort of hassle and allowed us to install Windows 11 on this system that is not on the compatibility list. So yeah, that's how you can do it. So super easy, probably the most easiest way of doing it. And again, you can use this over and over and you can use it for your other bootable devices as well, like Linux and, uh, you know, other WinPEs uh, and other things like that. Maybe your uh, WinPE toolkit and things like that. Anyway, so I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed before. Also, just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Special shout out to Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Phil's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.